Hey guys, this is Ms. Getz here, and I'm helping you check out the FET greenhouse gas simulation. Um, and it looks like we're starting in the glass layers tab, so I've got that one open. Um, and we're supposed to investigate the difference between the yellow and the red photons. So just take a little time to make some observations. And then go ahead and record your answer for number A. Pause if you need to. And now we're going to add some additional panes of glass. So I'm adding one pane of glass. Give us a few seconds to sort of check out what's happening with this one extra pane of glass. Then I'll add a couple more. See what difference those make. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my answer for number B and C and continue eventually reading. So I pause the video right here. Okay, so now that we're back, we're going to check out the photon absorption tab. So I'm going to open up that one. Um, ooh, this looks exciting. I'm going to keep this molecule here. So this looks like CH4, so that's methane. Um, and mm, I'm going to drag the slider over, I think, emitting some infrared photons. That's a lot of photons. Let's emit fewer photons. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's wiggling a ton with the infrared. Visible. No wiggling yet. No wiggling at all. So notice if you can what happens And it wiggles. So that's methane. Let's try carbon dioxide. Hmm. Hmm. Carbon dioxide wiggles too. Let's try visible. Hmm. No wiggles. Okay, bring the intensity back down and let's change to some H2O. So it's a water molecule. So we're in visible light. I'm going to up my intensity of visible light. It's not very exciting. Let's try infrared light and see what happens. Ooh, wiggles. I'm going to lower our light intensity so we can watch photons more clearly. Hmm. And then let's check out the O2. So that's diatomic oxygen. Low intensity infrared light. Pretty boring. Let's up our intensity. Hmm. Okay, so then let's try visible light. So super high intensity O2. That's pretty dull. So I would go ahead and pause the video and answer question number six.
And then we're on question number seven, and let's check out, hmm, we're going to go from, I'm going to go from methane, and it asks us to look at uh, infrared light. So I've got to change to infrared light. I'm going to slow down our, our intensity a ton. Okay, so I'm going to send one out. Oh, it didn't get absorbed. Oh, it didn't get absorbed. Oh, come on, methane. Do your thing. Hmm. Hmm. So I would answer question number seven right now. And pause the video if you need to. And now we're going to go look at the greenhouse effect tab. So that's the very first tab of the simulation. Um, I'm just going to reset everything just, just in case, you know, I changed any settings. Um, and now we're seeing the beginning of the simulation. And I want to say view all photons. Uh, oh, there it is. Whoa, that's a lot of photons. Okay. I'm going to start the greenhouse gas concentration at none. So that's not at all what I have right now. Oops. Okay. Uh, so our greenhouse gas concentration is starting with none. And we have to wait until the temperature has stabilized. So hopefully you've been watching the temperature. It's looking pretty stable. A little wiggle, but but not too much. So I'm going to call this our stable temperature. And you're going to want to pause the video to really think about this, the second part of the question beyond writing down your temperature. Okay, so now we're on number nine, and we're going to check out the greenhouse gas concentration up to the ice age level. So I'm going to say ice age, ooh, um, so that's this blue amount of greenhouse gas concentration. And again, we're going to carefully watch our infrared photons. So pick an infrared photon or, you know, a few and try to track it as it goes upwards. Oh, I just moved, went downwards instead. Weird. Okay, and then um, we need to get the new stable temperature. It's had a little bit of time. Mm, I don't know if the temperature is stable yet. Give it a few more minutes. Try to find another infrared photon to track. So I found one. Oh, whoa, it moved downwards right away. Nope, that one moved downwards too. Oh, that one moved downwards too. Hmm, interesting. So we seem pretty close to stabilizing our temperature. It's wiggling a little bit, but that happens. So I would take a moment to record your temperature and record what you saw happening to those infrared photons we were keeping track of. And just to humor you, I'm gonna go ahead and play around a little bit more. You can feel free to keep watching or pause the video and finish this section of the Poigo. Hmm. So 1750, that's even more greenhouse gases. Hmm. What if we get it today? That didn't change the temperature a lot. A little bit. And that's only 388 parts per million CO2. And I we know that there's more than that. So if we increase the 
that's bringing that average temperature up higher mm. higher okay so I'm gonna go back to today I'm gonna give it a moment to like chill out temperature to stabilize again um, and then I want to try adding some clouds so take a moment to think about what you think might happen if I add some clouds into the sky here on this simulation what will the effect of having those clouds be? Notice what effect the clouds have. Maybe even do the thing where you pick a photon, an infrared photon, and track it. Or pick a visible light photon and track it. And think about what this might be telling you about the temperature of the surface of the Earth or the atmosphere of the Earth by the surface, like where you are right now, on a cloudy day as compared to a day where the sky is clear. Think about how that might change. Cool. So I hope this has been helpful, and good luck checking out some more greenhouse gas simulations.